At Your Majesty, it would be a great honor if you allow me to pluck this flower. <laughs> you are indeed a man who is grounded in royalty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Speaking in parables, speaking in riddles. I understand perfectly what you are saying, and I, I must have to tell you, you have made a very wonderful choice. Thank you. Thank you. Call me the queen. You see, Ugonaya, my daughter, is, is a woman that is very precious to me. And if finally you succeed in this quest of yours, I will tell you that she's going to be the best thing that will happen in Umundre. Should I tell you that she's my daughter and I am very, very proud of her? Greetings, Your Majesty. My way. Rise. This is Uma Howie. I'm very well, Your Majesty. Greetings. Greetings. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes. I sent for you because um, Princess Una here, the double mother of Umunre, has come. And he says there is something he has cited in our palace. And he came seeking permission to pluck Seb back to Umunre. I know you understand what that means. Of course I know. <laughs> and it sounds very interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Please, my queen. Can you call me the princess? Immediately, Your Majesty. <laughs> I am not here to see the princess. Who then are you here to see? I am here to see Ijawele. What? Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. You're here to see Ije what? Ijawele. Um, you're certainly not serious, are you? I am very serious, Your Majesty. Ijawele is the one that I have come to see and not the princess. The noble man of Umundi, there is something you need to understand. The one you seek, the one you just mentioned her name, is a slave. A slave girl who serves in my palace. How can a prince like you indicate interest in a, in a slave? And why are you saying things that make me feel you consider a slave better than the princess? Your Majesty, do not be offended, but my interest is not in the one who is better. The princess may be better, but it is Ija Wele that my heart sees. It's, what I feel now is that your father, my friend, the revered king of Umuri, has not actually briefed you on royal marriages. And I'm taking it upon myself right here and right now to tell you that a prince like you must not indicate interest in marrying a slave. You cannot marry a slave. If you do that, the ancestors of your land will revolt against you. Even your she will have a reason to turn his or her back against you when you decide to ask for anything. Would you want such fate to befall you with this interest of yours in a slave girl? Your Majesty, you have indeed spoken well. But I would remind you, Your Majesty, that I am the Prince of Omundri. Whatever they call a slave, an outcast, a cursed person, does not exist in the entire Omori dynasty. And even if I go ahead to marry one of those, Your Majesty, our sacred autopsy, the Ofo of Umri, that stands as a symbol of power and supremacy in our land, shall cleanse this cursed outcast or slave 
and then they shall become clean again and become like a freeborn. And then they become a part of us. That is how we live in Oman Ray, Your Majesty. So on that note, Your Majesty, please allow me see the one that brought me. Ijawele. What do you want me to do now? Ah. <laughs> I stand to greet you, the very gorgeous princess of Umu Meli You should have a I am honored to be in your presence, I must say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So, how are you feeling? We're doing great. I must add that you are indeed a very gorgeous woman, my princess. <laughs> you know, you always have a way with words. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I'm wondering why the king will fix a private meeting for us. Ah, <laughs> for very obvious reasons, don't you think? You're really funny. What obvious reasons? Aha. Uh -huh. I take it then that your mother did not tell you anything. Did she? The princess said we should discontinue with the cooking. Why? The Queen gave the instruction that we should prepare the palace special for the guests. And we've done halfway already. Why should we discontinue? The Prince is already on his way home. He will not wait for the palace special. Did you confirm from the Queen? The Princess has given her order. Are you going to disobey? But I shouldn't bother you at all. His sight is going to change by the time he's done interacting with the Princess. Your Majesty. Ah, I am certainly your majesty. I want to say thank you for listening to me and being a great host. Send my warm regards to your father when you get back to Monterey. Thank you very much, Onyeze. He'll hear. I shall take my leave now, hoping that um, by the time I return, you would have granted this humble request of mine. Izuna, if you are still on Ijawale, I must have to tell you that Ijawale is not even in the picture. Onyeze, Ijawale is the one in my picture. And I plead with you to please help me with this request, for I shall be eternally grateful to you. Um, Father, I will just see him off. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. How are we going to resolve this madness? Oh, yes. Unfortunately, my son is not in the palace as we speak. He has gone out to take care of some personal business. I'm sure he'll be back before the close of business today. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. From the way you sound, it is clear that you don't know my son very well. Yes, <laughs> he pays attention to the tiniest of details in everything he does. Okay. Um, when he comes back, I'm sure he will uh, he'll look at the details of the contract once he comes back. Trust me on this. Yes. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Goya Heads of Umu and Kingdom. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Mama. Ukomori, you're welcome. Where have you been? Uh, Father, I stepped out to take care of business. What did he come here to do? Uh, Ugo Naya has refused to say a word to me. Do you blame my daughter? 
I mean, no decent woman will have anything to say about the classless Prince of Omori. Classless? Why refer to him as classless? I thought he came here for the princess. I didn't tell you that. I was only seeing him off. Well, my son, you are not wrong. What you are saying was exactly what we thought. That he came for the princess. Then he gave us the shock of our lives by telling us that he actually arrived all the way from Umunre to come and marry Ijawele. <laughs> Ijawele? Which Ijawele are you talking about, please? Uh, I am lost. Is it the one here or there is another? Yeah. Ijawele, the one you know. In fact, I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> Ijawele. I think I need some rest now. I will talk about it when I completely understand what you people mean. But for now, I think the prince woke up from the wrong side of the bed. No, 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 no. From the conversation I had with him, he is very serious. Well, I prefer not to talk about this. I will see you. There is an element of sense in what our son just said. That prince indeed woke up from the wrong side of the bed. You all know me. I do not play to the color. I say my mind without minding what will happen. I am of the opinion that we are granting the king so much privilege. Mm. Yes. And, and, and what, what privilege are you talking about? Huh? What privilege are you talking about? Listen, local politics, that is village politics, is quite different from mainstream politics. Mainstream politics involve political parties and oppositions. And because we don't have political parties, we should continue to allow the king to delay? Hmm? No, no, no. Let him expose his son for us to be sure. Yes. You want to be sure? Yes. You mm. want to be sure? Yes. And how are you sure that he has no reason has not done that? Oh, no. I think I understand where Ototo is coming from. We live in an era where anybody can drop and die. I am not saying that the king is going to die. No. That is not what I'm saying. But something can happen to anybody anytime. Hmm. Thank you. Anybody can go at any time. And that is all I have to say for now. Look, Adi, Adi. Can you, can, what, what are you saying? If the king dies without presenting his son, <laughs> I am very sorry that he may not be allowed by the people to rule. And you know what that means? He will begin to fight for the throne of his father. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And you know the damage this will cause to Umu Omeligwe kingdom. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Or do you want us to join the League of Towns and Kingship Tosso? Oh, no. Do you want that? Asokata Dikanya, Ibudun Kataniru, Gwioku. The king must do the need for. Mm -hmm. The king must do that which must be done. That is all I have for now. Your point is very clear. Uh, no, no, no. Hmm. Uh, uh, listen to me. Hold on. Uh, I, I think I understand what the elders are talking about. Um, well, but, but, but in, we, we will not force the king to do anything. Let us allow the king to come out his own way. Let him take his time, come out his way, do whatever he wants to do at his own time. Oh, yes. He is a very young, energetic, strong king. I don't see him as somebody who will die today, tomorrow. He's not dying very soon. I'm from Madiko and I want an age. Are you now ready to tell me the truth? My queen. 
The truth is what I have already told you. Nothing but the truth. How can you be such a terrible liar, Ijaweli? You've been seeing the prince. And you knew before me to say you know nothing about him. My queen, I know nothing about the prince. I have never seen him before. I, I don't know him. If there is anything going on between the prince and I, I will tell you. Now listen to me. If I later find out on the contrary, you will not like what I will do to you. Get out! Thank you, my queen. Mother. Listen. If I find out this little girl is lying to me, I will kill her. Mom. Are you still on this? Don't you think you're worrying yourself too much? It's so obvious you don't even understand the implication of what the prince is trying to do. Whatever it is, Mom, it has absolutely nothing to do with me. Well, having listened to all you said, I am glad that we all reason well and are on the same level. Um, for such a company to decide to invest in our kingdom is not only an opportunity for more revenue for us, but also an increased opportunity of uh, more employment for our youths. <laughs> May you live long, my king. <laughs> you have just said it all. A project like this, we have nothing to lose. We rather have lots and lots to gain. We have enough land for even more projects and companies. I, I don't know if I have spoken the mind of my elders. Yes, yes. we are in the same page. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that settles it. Uh, my king, the prince is not here with you today. I, I hope all is well. Yeah, that's true, king. He hardly misses our meeting, except he travel. You're not far from the truth, but he's around and well. Just that he went to inspect the five borehole projects he sponsored for five strategic areas of our kingdom. Oh, are you imagine? <laughs> That's plenty. Yeah, by the way, he sends his regards. He's welcome. Oh, Mekanya. <laughs> oh, Ebuinuko, the great priest of Amumuri. Welcome to my palace. I greet you, my king. Please sit. My son, Prince Izuna, told me about your revelation of a certain maiden who lives in the palace of Umuru in Uwe. It is a direct message from Apalata Omeledibia. Can you tell me more about it? My king, you don't have to be restless. If you must be bothered, then you should be bothered more on how Izuna will marry the said maiden. I understand that. But I want to know why Palata will place such crucial value on a woman who I gathered is a slave. She's not a slave, my king. She is actually a rare gift from Shuku Kikabiyama. You don't have to question Apalata on this, for she bears the light that will lead the prince to his destination. I am not questioning Apalata on your uh, Please do not misunderstand me. I'm sure you know I will not do such a thing. All I am doing is seeking for clarification. You know it already. Let him marry that same lady. Before they discover who she is and seize her forever. Sam, I invited your queen to go earlier today. Okay. Any new development? Uh, not much, but he opened my eyes to the importance of that lady. Ah. 
Father, it looks like I don't have a choice but to keep visiting that palace until the king sees reasons with me. Talking about the king, I, I will call him and I'll make sure that we get that maiden before they know who she is and sees her forever. True father. By the way, have you spoken with your siblings lately? Oh yes, I, I speak to them often. Um, last time we talked, uh, they were saying that they miss home. <laughs> yes, but I was quick to remind them that they have two more years to... Exactly. Yeah, but they complained about you that they said that you haven't been calling as often as you should. Especially Adobe, you know how she gets with you. But Obi now, Obi now was, was just fine, you know, he's independent-minded. <laughs> Adobe. Why would she say such a thing? Well, you haven't yeah. been calling. Uh, I have a very busy schedule. Anyway, I'll find time to do that. Father, please find time to call, eh? Your busy schedule is not an excuse. Uh, <laughs> definitely, I will. All right, Father. I don't know why you are headbent on not marrying Prince Izuna. Do you hate him that much? Mom, are we still talking about this? Okay, why are you sounding like he proposed to me and I refused to marry him? No. He proposed to Ijia Willy, not me. He's just being funny. And you being stubborn. Okay, mom, let me explain something to you. If he had come to me, or rather proposed to me, I would not have accepted. You know why? Because I have somebody that I want to get married to, which is Nathaniel. Mom, it is Nathaniel or no other person. The prince is a good man. Mommy, let him be. Okay. I just pray you don't regret this opportunity you're about to play away in the future. Let me worry about that. Meanwhile, I have a meeting with Nathaniel. We are going to the post office. I'll see you when I'm there. It's okay. Go to my room. Bring me pen and paper. And good afternoon. How are you, son? Fine. What are you writing? <sighs> Since your sister has refused to capitalize on this great opportunity and become the next queen of Omori, I have decided to accept the prince's choice of wife and make a list for proper introduction. Excuse me, can I see that? <sighs> Mom, <laughs> you can't be serious. 10 cows, 10 rams, mm -hmm. 10 goats, 400 tubas of yam. Mom, 20 bags of rice. Yes. Six dozens of wrappers. 50 heads of tobacco. And one white horse. Come on, Mom. This is already running into millions of naira. I mean, no man in his right senses would spend this much just to marry a slave. The prince has made his choice. So he should bear the cost. I wonder why Prince Sizuna chose to make this horrible choice. You know, that stinking thing. That's horrible. Greetings, my prince. Hey, hey. Why are you smelling like this? Haven't you had a bad day? Um, <clears throat> I, I, 
I'm sorry, my prince. It's the smoke. Smoke? What do you mean smoke? Smoke in this palace? Y yes, my prince. We roasted some cow legs and tails with firewood outside today. Once I leave here, I will, I will take my bath again and change into another uniform. But you know it's the right thing to do. Why didn't you do that before coming here to pollute the air for me? Huh? I'm sorry, my prince. Wait. Wait a minute. Were you the one that prepared these fruits I just ate? Uh, yes, my prince. I did. How? Oh, my goodness. Now listen. Listen and listen good. Don't you ever prepare anything that I will eat in this palace ever again. Did you hear me? Yes, my prince. Now get out. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. Let's something from this one. How do I? Oh, yeah. Just remembered my encounter with the swine. I wonder what the prince saw in her that he picked up interest in someone like her. Whatever reason he has is left for him. This is an opportunity to acquire more wealth. Oh, come off it, mother. We have enough wealth already. What shall we be doing with his cows and goats? <laughs> No one should be tired of acquiring more wealth, my son. Mm -mm. Mom, you're so unbelievable. <laughs> of course I know. Even your father who has married me for 33 years does not even know me. Okay, Mom. Continue with your list. Let me see how you're going to pull this one through. What is this list all about? That is the list for Ijawale's marriage. That is a ridiculous woman. How can you prepare such outrageous list? And you have the mind to present them to a king in the name of marriage requirements for marriage introduction? Where does that happen? Your Majesty, this list stands. If you want to add anything, go ahead. All the things that are listed here must be provided. Because you are who? Now, woman, I want you to listen. Listen and listen attentively. That maid in Ijawale is not leaving this palace for anywhere. She remains here. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Now, I want you to take this useless list out of my sight and let this be the very last time you will pull this stunt. Don't try it again. Your Majesty, why are you upset? I am not upset. I am just telling you what is going to happen. And I want you to be very, very careful. But hey, 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 listen to me. There is always a point that people will get to. And on their own, they will advise themselves that they have reached the limit I believe you have gotten to that very point, and I'm advising you right now to advise yourself to stop this madness. If you try this again, you are going to force me to make some statements, and you will not like those statements. Seriously, Jeremy, you're really confusing me. You mean you have never met this man in your life? Princess, I, I swear on my life, I have never met him before. I don't even know what he looks like. So why on earth would he go to the king to propose that he wants you to be his wife? Why? I don't know, my princess. He wants the royal heads to see me as a wayward maiden and get me punished. That is the only thing that comes to my mind. Okay, right now you are not making sense. What is this business with you? From what I gathered, I heard he's a wonderful businessman and he's a great philanthropist. He always wants to see people happy. Why will he want you punished? 
Harry. Okay, okay. Since, since he's a philanthropist, maybe he wants to help me too. But he's going about it the wrong way by saying he wants to marry me. It doesn't make sense to me, my princess. Besides, you and I know that the prince cannot marry someone like me. Right now, this whole thing is really getting me confused. I don't even know what to think. I mean, what you're saying, I just can't, I can't figure it out. Go, I'll call you later. Thank you, my princess. The great king of Umo Meligwe Kingdom. You know you are the perfect gift Chukwu Okika Abiyama can give to any woman. Please give me a high five. <laughs> Is there something you are not telling me? Why are you this excited? Your Majesty, I have every reason to be excited. When a woman marries someone like you, she has no reason to be sad. Mm -hmm. You're everything in one. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thanks for the compliment. It's indeed very encouraging. <laughs> and should I tell you that you look amazingly beautiful this morning? Oh. You are just electrifyingly unique. Oh, <laughs> your majesty, that is the sweetest of them all. Thank you, my king. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just glancing through the papers. <laughs> um, I, I would like to discuss something with you. I knew it. I knew it that all these praises this morning, there must be something beneath. It's okay. Make yourself comfortable. I'm listening. Thank you. Everybody, my love, my. Your Majesty. I understand that you prefer Princess Zuna to have come for our daughter instead of Ijaweli. But we both understand that both the prince and the princess are not interested. Our daughter already has a good man in her life. Please, Emuda. You are talking to the king. Can you please go straight to the point? Can you? Okay. My point is, why do you still insist that Ijawile is not leaving the palace? We have nothing to lose. Besides, she will still marry someday. Uh, uh, listen, I already made my stand on this issue, Nuri. I don't know why you're bringing up the topic again. Ijawele is not leaving this palace. Your Majesty, you're confusing me. How? Is it that Ijawele is not leaving this palace? Or Ijawele will not marry the prince? Which of them? Listen, I don't want to waste further time discussing this very issue. You know where I stand on this. I don't know the meaning you are bringing into it. And let me tell you something. If this happens to be the reason you have been praising me, doing all this thing you are doing this man, then I consider it an irrelevant waste of my time, please. I want to be left alone. Please. Okay then.
What could be his reason? <sighs> Let this not be what I am thinking. No, 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 no. This can't be. The king cannot stoop so low. Ah, a mere servant like Ijawili. Ah, no. Ah, Okati is more than this. I'm going to ask you this question once. And I demand a straight answer. Am I clear? Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Are you sleeping with my husband, the king? Hey! May the gods forbid. Hi. Hi, Queen. Never. I can't do such a thing. Do you think I'm here to play with you? Eh? You look just... Oh, 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 oh. So Linda, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Your Majesty, you sent for me. I hope all is well. Is the king okay? We are all fine. I called for a purpose. And what would that be, Your Majesty? I want you to run a test for virginity on one of the palace maids. Really? Why? For my ask. Dr. Linda, a lot has been happening. I need you to run this test so I can understand exactly what is going on. It's okay, Your Majesty. That is not a difficult task at all. Good. And I want it private. You can count on me, Your Majesty. Where is the lady? She will go with you to the hospital once you're ready to leave the palace. It's all right, Your Majesty. And I will get you the results as soon as they're ready. Thank you. Excuse me. Your Majesty. I am sorry to have bothered you with this issue. But I have no one else to discuss it with. Young woman, you are sitting before Ezenri of Umunwe. Nobody cries in his presence, no matter the issue. Wipe your tears and talk to the king. Your Majesty, it is the prince. All of a sudden, he decided to destroy the beautiful relationship we've built. I am broken, my king. It is not the prince's fault, my dear. We are traditional people, and we have a deity in Umunri called Apalata Onyiridibia. He was the one who stepped in, and we must do as he says. 
I don't get it, my king. Is it the deity that told the prince to leave his fiancé and settle for a slave girl? The deity I know. Can't do that to the daughter of the soil. That is what we will say as humans. But Apalata sees differently. No one has said that you have done anything wrong, my dear. And no one says you are not worthy. Some things came up, and you just have to allow us to deal with it. Are you seriously saying all those things, Oyeze? Are you trying to tell me that it is over between Izuna and I? No one has said it is over between you. I'm sure that Izuna will not cut off that friendship. Just go for now. I trust everything. My beautiful Ozo. Come on. Please, lighten up. Why is your face that way? Huh? You don't know. Are you seriously asking me that? When you know full well what is wrong? Ozo. You know that what is happening between you and I right now. It's not intentional. It is beyond me. You know how I feel about you. You know I love you. I have always respected you. You know that. And now everything has changed? Yes, Uzo. Things have changed. But I need you to understand that it is... It is beyond my control. Izuna, you leave me for whatever the deity told you? Come on, Izuna. We are in the new millennium. And because we're in the new millennium, we should discard the ways of our ancestors. Is that what you're saying, Uzo? Now, Uzo, I am going to be a king someday, and I am not going to play down on the ministrations of our central deity. I need you to understand that. He's on now. You said you love me. And it has always been lies. Let me go. Please, please don't go, please. Okay, please. Let my driver outside the take you. All right, you, you can't drive in this state of mind. It's not safe. Trust me, I'm fine. Please, please. Asadebe! Asadebe! Where's my prince? I'd like for you to driver. Okay? Okay, my friends. Be careful. Thank you. Seriously, Willy, I am very happy for you. You know, the mere fact that his father came to discuss about your marriage to his son with my father shows that the marriage world, no matter the resistance from the king. My, my princess, that, that is the issue. Your father means everything to me. I... Good luck to you. Tradition still stands. Especially in the royal family. You need to stop crying, please. 
Ozamaka, how are you? The way you left me. Ozamaka, stop being hard on me, please. Are you for real? You're hurting me and you're asking me this kind of question. Iduna, where is your humanity? Where did you become this mean and heartless? So, you know, you make, you make it look like this is my it's not my fault. Okay, please. Please. Listen, you're a good woman. Alright? You are going to find someone way better than I am. I don't want anyone else. It is you that I need. Listen, Izuna. I I I I, I love you with, with everything in me. I love you with everything in me, please. Listen, it cannot happen. All right, we cannot be together. We were making plans. I was ready to get married to you, you know. Until the gods decreed that you and I are not destined to be together. Isn't it? Isn't it? You've been part of my destiny for a very long time now. I beg you, I beg you, the to go to do this to me. Isn't it, please? What's up, please stop. Right, at this point, I need you to understand with me. Don't do this. This situation is, is beyond me. It's out of my control. <laughs> what situation? That of the gods? <laughs> are you are you really getting rid of our relationship? Our beautiful relationship because of what the gods said. Listen, Ozamaka, we're still friends. We will be friends for the rest of our lives if you let us. We can be of benefit to ourselves in so many different ways. Please, I need you to understand. I need you to help me. It will be for my own good and for the good of everyone as well. Please. Please. Isn't that? Is it not? Is it not? Please, is it not? Please, I beg you, don't do this to me. Is it not? Is it not? Please, please, I beg you, don't do this to me. Greetings, my father. Eze o kati we wan of Umu Meligwe Kingdom. May your reign continue to be great. Thank you, Commander. You may sit. Thank you, Father. I actually called you because I want us to have a very important discussion. I'm listening, Father. Oh, Commander, I am going to go straight to the point. And I am hoping you will understand me as someone who grew up in a palace. I want you to make Ijawole your wife. But I am sure you heard exactly what I said. And trust me, I mean what I just said. Father, how can you mean something like that? I am very serious. Forget about all the things you know about her. You may need to ignore all the things you feel about that girl. I want you to look at the big picture. She is indeed the gifted one, the chosen one. And when you make her your wife, she is going to assist you, make a wonderful king when you finally take over from me as the king of Umumeligwe Kingdom. Father, please stop this joke. I'm not joking. Who is gifted? That smelling dirty thing? Then how come she's a slave? Father, please don't sustain this discussion. Please. Thank you. Uh, listen, listen. I have not actually called you here to get an instant response from you. No. 
But I just sowed a seed in my son. And I wanted to ponder on the things I just said. Okay? Now that Obuefia Shebe has confirmed, she is the gifted one, the special one. She belongs to my son. She is not leaving this palace. And nobody can do anything about this. And where are you going with that one? Um, but my prince, the king asked, asked me to serve him juice. Would you want some? Shut up and get lost. Thank you, my prince. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what my father wants me to get married to? Greetings, Your Majesty. Yo, how are you? Very well, Your Majesty. Yes, hold on. Yeah, there's something I want to discuss with you. I'm listening, Your Majesty. How well do you know my son? You mean Prince Okomadu? Yes, Okomadu, my son. How well do you know him? I, I know him just like a sister knows her brother, Your Majesty. But in the deepest part of your heart, you know he's not your brother, right? Yes, Your Majesty. I, but I see him like a brother. It is the prince who sees me differently. Your Majesty. Now there is something I something I want to tell you. From the throne, I am going to work out something between you and him. I want you to start seeing him as someone who will possibly be your husband. Now that Ono is gone, can we talk about it? Talk about what? Everything, Your Majesty. Everything. And I want to make it clear that I will conclude there is a conspiracy against me in my husband's house. If you fail to tell me what is going on here and now. Sit down. First of all is that you have not said anything at all. So I need you to define what you mean by conspiracy in your husband's house. Then secondly, you have to tell me who is conspiring against who. You have to provide answers to all these questions for me to understand where this is coming from. Initially, I thought you had your eyes on that slave girl. Huh? But I realized there is more to it. Prince Izuna is interested in her. Now you want our son to go and compete with him. Your Majesty, how do you explain that? Did you just explain that? No, did I just hear you speak? You are thinking that Eze Okatiwe of Umo Meligwe Kingdom has been looking at a slave? What kind of insult is that? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But I'm confused. Honestly, any woman in my shoes will feel the same. Listen, listen. I don't want to discuss this nonsense with you ever again. If that maiden is going to get married to a prince who will eventually become a king in a kingdom, then I want you to mark it somewhere that that prince must be a comrade of my son. 
That is what is going to happen. And nobody can do anything about it. Do not ever discuss this with me again. Why is everything getting weird by the minute? I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Who are you? Confused, Your Majesty. I am the same Ijawili that you know. That is not what I am saying. So don't play dumb with me. Because I know you know where I'm coming from. I don't know, Your Majesty. But if it is my background you're asking of, sincerely, I don't know. I am only but a slave. And there is no slave that knows his or her background. The reason we are slaves, Your Majesty. Okay. Tell me. Are you in any way connected to some extraterrestrial realm? I mean, do you feel you possess some kind of spiritual powers? Your Majesty, I, I, I don't have any powers. And I'm not connected anywhere. And I ask again. Sometimes when you are alone, do you see spirits of departed elders giving you instructions? No, no Your Majesty. I, 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 you're beginning to scare me. I don't see anybody giving me instructions. Get out. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am sorry for what happened earlier today. I didn't mean to get you angry. I just wanted to know why my husband is suddenly interested in this leave. That's it. Maybe I should just let it out. We discovered eventually that Ijawole is not just an ordinary girl. She is not a servant like we had always believed. She is the choosing one. Choosing one of Chukwokika Biyama. And she has a link to greatness. Your Majesty, you're getting me confused. I don't understand. Is it the same Ijawele or someone else? The same Ijawele. The same one. An incident happened three years ago. You remember those days when I used to travel to Nono to be with Okechukwi Bango, my very good friend, right? Yes, I remember. And we lost him early this year. And you equally know that before anybody can get to Nono from here, that the person must pass through the Omambala River, right? You've said that before. I've not been to Nono. That very day, as, uh, as he was seeing me off, I lost the sacred staff of authority that empowered me as the king of Omambala What? Um, Your Majesty, wait. You lost the staff of authority as the king of this kingdom since three years ago. And you never mentioned it to me. 
Yes, because I kept hoping that I would find it. You know, as I was in the boat coming back from Onono, I slipped. And in my effort to prevent a fall, I lost control and the staff that I was holding fell off and fell into the waters of Omandola and disappeared in the deepest part of the conclave of that very deep river. And you did not engage the divers to find it? I did. I did everything. In fact, I continued searching for help from within and outside this kingdom, hoping that they will find it. And uh, you know yourself what will happen if the people of this kingdom will find out that their king is no longer holding on to the staff that empowered him as kings. You know, right? I have come before you with heavy heart. I am indeed very troubled. I am here because I know you to be a great seer. And I believe you are the only one who can assist me solve this problem that I have now. What brings the king before me? There is this horn that empowers me as the king of Umumiligo Kingdom. It's an ancient instrument that I received from my fathers. As I'm talking to you now, that ancient horn has gone missing. I lost it in the waters of Omambala as I was coming back from Onono. I have done everything humanly possible to retrieve it from that water, and it is not working out. I engage the services of all the divers of Anam, divers of Agleri, Umweri, Nzam. I even went as far as getting divers from a norm. All of them combed the floor of that river. And they were not able to find that horn for me. This is giving me sleepless nights. That is why I'm here. Is there a way you can assist me? Find that horn that empowers me as the king of Umumeligwa Kingdom. Amongst the beds is found one with a difference. There is a certain maiden in your palace. A slave in your palace. Her name is Ijawele. She was actually given to me by the people of Umudora. I still remember what happened. A royal cow from our Umumiligwe kingdom had wandered into Umudora and they slaughtered that cow without knowing it was a royal cow. And then information got to me that a royal cow had been slaughtered in Umudora and I sent words across to them that they have to pay back with seven cows or I will kill every single living ten in Umudora. Instead of giving me the seven cow to quench the burning flame, the anger of an angry king, they give me a human instead. And that human is the Jawele you are talking about. What has she got to do with this? That is the only maiden that can retrieve the staff from where it is. Why are you confusing me with your shepherd? Eh? Under normal circumstances, a slave cannot even touch that horn. Why now will you say that a slave is the one that will assist me to retrieve it? How is that possible? Ijawele is not a slave. It was Chuku Kikabiyama that caused the slaughtered cow to wander into Umudora. He lured them to appease you with a human instead of the seven cows you demanded. 
that maiden already holds a special place in the history of Umomeligwe. She will definitely grow into a woman and she will be the one to tell you where the staff is. But one thing, she must not be pressurized. Do not force her to do this. That's the story. And I continued hoping that one day she will willingly come forward to me with the staff and give it back to me. It has not happened. And the way fear she the eye that sees tomorrow told me that I must not. In fact, that she must not be pressurized into doing this. Your Majesty, I still can't believe that you could keep this away from me all these years. It's for a purpose. What you are saying has to do with the very staff that empowered me as the king. I didn't want anybody to hear it. You know the implication yourself. So you don't have to be angry. Don't be offended. Honestly, I'm angry. I am so angry because it was this same Ono oh, that I always kick against that crippled you like this. And what do you mean by that? Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. How was your majesty? Yes, Your Majesty. Sit down. Okay, I know exactly what is running through your head. But it's indeed a new era. So feel free. Sit down. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ijaweli, I would like to ask you something. And I will appreciate it if you tell me everything you know about it. No, Your Majesty. Or any missing staff of the king? No, Your Majesty. I, I, I've never heard anything about the king's Secret staff. Are you sure? Very sure, Your Majesty. All right. You may go. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's a special gift from God. She got me wrong. Oh, she's the future of I, I, I spoke with Ijawale today. Obviously, she does not know anything about the staff. Oh, this woman, this woman. Why would you do that? But I told you that this maiden must not be pressurized, must not be pushed. Did I tell you that? Honestly, I was very gentle with her. I did not pressurize her at all. I, I was just curious. Curious about what? You know, why must you always do things without approval? That girl is a special one. And I believe that at the appointed time, she's going to comfort. Don't ever ask her anything again. Please. Oh, okay. Good. I... I've given instructions as regards her transformation. The tailor is at work already. Good. That's exactly what we agreed. That is what you should be doing. Not asking the girl any question. Don't do it again. Please.
think something is happening that no one is telling me. Why am I suddenly being pampered like a princess? Why is the queen now talking to me as if I'm her daughter? Why, why did he buy me loads and loads of new wares? Is it, is it the Prince of Omori that is doing this? Will they finally allow me to go be with him? Why are they so good to me all of a sudden? Greetings, Your Majesty. You look so beautiful. Thank you. This is so beautiful. Come here. Turn around. Wow. I trust the former the royal designer. This is beautiful. <sighs> Hope you like your new room. Yes, Your Majesty. I do. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. <sighs> Thank you for everything, and may God reward you abundantly. Amen. You're welcome. You deserve all the special treatment in the whole world. You're indeed a special and destined maiden. And we need to treat you like the daughter of God you are. Ija Willie. Yes, Your Majesty. You may not understand. But the rest assured that from now onwards, you will no longer be treated like an ordinary palace maiden. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. It's okay. I will attach a special maiden to you that will run all your errands. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Um, enjoy yourself. No way, no, no, no. Am I dreaming or what? A special maid assigned to me. This isn't happening. No way. No way. This isn't happening. A special maid. Someone who would clean my room, wash my dresses. My dresses. This is too much. Ijawale, is this happening? I summoned you all here to inform you about the changes that was made in the palace. Ijawale here, as you all know, is no longer part of you. She's now a member of the royal family, and you all must accord her respect. I must not hear any form of disrespect towards her. Am I understood? Yes, yes Your Majesty. Ijawole. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you have anything to say? No, not at all, Your Majesty. Okay. Now, in the absence of none, you may all go back to your duty post.
your life has changed completely. Yours is a little example of rising from grass to grace. <laughs> and what grace are you talking about? Am I not still here with you? For how long? Mind you, you're gone already. For them to draw out money from their pocket and transform you this way. That simply means they've given their approval already. I mean completely. Look at you. <laughs> you even... The good man has arrived all the way from Mumbrun. You have to come and see him immediately. Where is he? Outside the gates. But I don't want to see him. Please. You've got to just, just go and wear him out. Please. You really need to see him. He's a good man. Please. 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 She carry round. Oh, she's the future of the kingdom. She's an angel and she is so oh precious my. and she is a, a precious <laughs> gift from God. You look amazing. Thank you. I love this. Ija, well, this is a beautiful transformation. Huh? Please sit, 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 sit. Let's all stand now. Come on. You're such a beautiful woman. At some point, I was thinking you were the one behind this. Not at all, no. I have nothing to do with this. I mean, I've been waiting on you to say yes to me so that I can transform you into the rightful princess of Omonri. Huh? But this is gorgeous. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Does it mean the queen is the one behind this? Why is she interested in me all of a sudden? It doesn't matter. What's important is that they've done something really nice and you look amazing. Huh? And I got you something. I got you a gift. A token from my house. Go ahead, take it. A gift from my heart. To say that I already see you as my wife, Ijawele. And I am ready to wait forever to have you with me. Greetings, my friends. Hmm. Hey, Jake. I never knew you can be this beautiful. <laughs> Look nice. Thank you, my friends. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> um, EJ, please, uh, at your convenient, go to my room. Pick up the dirty clothes I left on my bed. Take them to the lounge, okay? But, my prince, you... You want me never to go to your room again. Oh, come on. Don't make reference to all that... Stupid order I gave to you never to come anywhere close to my room. They are cancelled. You can come anytime. <laughs> All right, my prince. I'll go there right away. What was that? I don't know. It could be for anything. I like what I'm seeing. You like what you're seeing, but I don't like what I'm seeing in your eyes. Really? You're seeing something in my eyes? What is it? Oh, please! You know what I'm talking about. Stop the pretense. I'm talking about the advances. It has to stop. Hence, I'll be forced to tell the Queen. <laughs> You don't need to stress yourself because it is already known to them that you are mine. How? Good question. 
You see, soon you are going to be my wife. You belong to me, not Izuna. I see. I see. The reason for all this, this promotion, from being a slave girl to a real life princess. Well, I don't want to dwell on whatever you called promotion. What's more important is that I have informed you already. So, my darling. You don't need to be scared. Please, 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 please don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't. What is going on here? Good morning, Your Majesty. What was that? I mean, what were you telling her? Mom, what a guy man tells a woman is between the guy man and the woman in question. Don't even bother yourself. Good morning. Hello, Your Majesty. A guy man? Is that what he thinks of himself? Usually, not comfortable with meetings like this. What is it about? I'm going to ask you a direct question. And I want you to give me a direct answer. Okay. Are you ready to settle in with Ijawele as your wife? Not really, Mom. You see, I have to be with her first. You know, play, have fun. After that, I can now decide if she's my kind of woman or not. Are you serious? Yes. Is that what you mean by guy man? Listen, Okom Madu. You are not any nonsense guy man. You're a prince. The earlier you make up your mind on that maiden, the better for you. Mom, I see you are with dad on this now. You are believing that she's a special maiden. Am I right? You can say whatever you like. But note, the earlier, the better for you. I heard you, Mom. Can I leave now? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, oh, come, Madu. I don't want what happened earlier today to repeat itself again. <laughs> Mom, nothing happened. It, it was just a normal guy man conversation. You know, trying to check out if the product I'm about to buy is up to date. That's exactly what I was doing, and I must find out. She's a pretty woman, but they see her as a slave. But they don't know she's a precious. Thank you, Your Majesty. I, I also want to thank you for the promotion. I am grateful and will forever be grateful. It's okay, my love. I know you're not aware of this. His Majesty wants you to marry our son. The King has already told me this before. But he wasn't as direct as you are now. And I don't know why. You don't need to ask why. He's the king. There are things he sees that we do not see. Maybe he finally sees that you're the one worthy of our son. A gift from my heart. 
to say that I already see you as my wife, Ijawele. And I am ready to wait forever to have you with me. Why are you not saying anything? Your Majesty, what about Prince Izunia? Once you're married to our son, he will find his way out. Your Majesty, I, I don't... I don't like the way your son treats me. Don't worry. With time, he will change. Listen. We are not forcing you to go against your wish. You still have every right to make your choice. We are just letting you know. Thank you, Your Majesty. You can go now. She's indeed a beautiful woman. Thank you for honoring my invitation. Thank you. What troubles the king again? Your administration of three years ago has come under strong scrutiny. And I must have to confide in you that I am terribly disturbed. It was a clear administration. Why will it be disturbing you by now? I am yet to see the effect of the things you said. And I am disturbed now because everything has taken a different new turn entirely. What other turn? The maiden. The maiden who lives under my roof. The slave girl. The same one you referred to as the daughter of Shuko Kika Biyama. She's on the verge of slipping off my fingers. From nowhere, the prince of Umure kingdom has indicated interest in making her his wife. And everybody expected me to allow that girl to be married. And I have been refusing because I understand what she represents based on what you told me. I know that it will spell doom for me if she leaves, now everybody is beginning to see me as an evil man. Who will not want an innocent girl to be married? It has even gotten to the point that I practically pushed my son to indicate interest in making her his wife so that this maiden will remain here in the palace. Your Majesty, I don't have any business with whomever wants to marry the said maiden. The most important thing here is how to get the missing staff. That is the point. How do we get the missing staff of Bwiki Achebe? But the but, No but, Your Majesty. No but. You must be patient. The missing staff will be revealed soon. But you must allow the maiden to follow her heart. Do not force or cajole her into anything. Allow her to do her things at her own time. I am impressed to see that you have your freedom now. Hmm? It's a good thing. A lot has changed. I'm surprised at the sudden change of heart from the royal household. Well, uh, maybe they have come to realize your worth. Who knows? They want me to marry Prince Ukon, madam. Ah. <laughs> Is that so? 
Or maybe they just don't want you to slip off your fingers, you know? This shouldn't be happening. Not now that you have made your intentions known. Ijawale. I want you to know that Chukwoki Kabiyama has great intentions for you and I. And nothing under the sun will stop it. I like your person. You are kind, good hearted, and honest. You are made for a king. That's a compliment that I will take. <laughs> This is exactly what I've been looking for. Then you have it. Yes. My friend from Madamawa, a senior custom officer who gave it to me, told me that it will come handy someday. And I'm very happy it finally fell on my wife. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You have to really go slow. I am not yet your wife. And that is because you have not fixed a date yet. So I can come with my people to see your father. Baby, you know I am ready. Ready like right now. No, I am royalty. You can't just come to the palace that you want to get married to the princess just like that. There is a process you must go through. that I was thinking if we should start the process. Takes no time. Let me tell you, I may not be a money bag, but certainly not a poor man. I am very comfortable, and you know that I'm capable too. Yes, I know that. But we have to go slow. I think this thing is becoming too fast. Okay, let's start this way. Um... Next week, I'll tell my parents, and okay. then I'll invite you over officially. And please, remember, immediately after the introduction, I am not going home with you because I am not yet your wife. Is that so? Yes. Well, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But at least, the said introduction confirms you are not I. I can relax my mind and be rest assured that no one is taking you away from me. Of course nobody is dragging or taking me away from you. Nobody. <laughs> Asana, I love you, but you don't have an idea. I know. Thanks for loving me. And you know I can love you best. I love you more than you can ever imagine. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think your father would just be as intimidating as the king here. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I am not going to be intimidated. Mm -hmm. I know. Can I call you back? Yes, please. So you're here? have the gods to disobey my orders. You are here happily making calls. 
My prince, please. I don't have strength for your troubles. Please. What? That I, Prince Okomado of Umo Meligwe Kingdom, troubling you? What do you want? You asked for freshly squeezed juice and you got served. Why do you want me to serve you personally? I gave you an order to prepare it and serve it. Why did you delegate that responsibility to another person? I'm just going to say this, and this is me setting the records. I'm still carrying out your orders just because I have absolute respect for you. After all, the queen has already ordered I stop going on errands. I'm no longer a domestic staff. You can ask her yourself if you wish. I'm no longer a domestic staff. And please stop making things difficult for me. Sir. I am not going to let you rip me in this house. Perfect. We shall see. Mom. Mom, you really have to call Ijawile to others. She is getting on my nerves. Will you just come down and tell me what happened? Okay. I asked her to serve me something in the mini living room. She refused. Rather, she delegated that responsibility to another maid. And when I asked, she was talking back at me disrespectfully. Mother, who is Ijawele in this palace? Who is she to delegate responsibility to someone else? Um, wait. I don't know exactly why you're upset. You just said she asked someone to do the job, right? And I saw that person before asking her to do the job. So do the right thing by talking to her like a responsible man will do. And who knows you might be the lucky person. Trust me. This is certainly not the way to go about it. Mother. Am I supposed to be counted amongst people that should be lucky? I, Prince Okomadu. Mother, I see you are the reason she is misbehaving. All right. No problem. Listen, I don't want to dwell so long on this. You need that girl. So do everything possible to win her. I don't need her. She needs me. Call her to order. Father, I present to you Ijeawele, the one who makes my world complete. <laughs> she is indeed an astonishing beauty. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> far, far away from Whatever they describe as a sleep. <laughs> Please sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. Father, speaking of that, you know, the last time I visited Umo Meligwe, I did very well to educate them on the subject of outcasts and slaves and all of that. I made them understand that we in Umo are way ahead of all of that. It's not about us. Uh, it's not our ways. And I'm quite sure that that lesson will live with them for a very long time. Uh? <laughs> Welcome to my palace, Ijawili. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, it was only yesterday we prayed to Arobinago to give you and my son safe passage and to bring you together as man and wife. And I'm sure the gods will honor it. Welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you once again. Son, take good care of her. I am trying so hard to understand what you are saying. That Ijawele is not in this palace. She went to my place. Then you must be stupid. Are you the only idiot that does not know that she is going to be my wife soon? Why let her leave the palace? Even if she becomes your wife, 
that doesn't mean she will not live with you. Oh, shut, shut, shut this god that you call a mouth. How dare you? Are you stupid to say that to my face? Now get out. Tell me when she returns. I just hope she has not gone to see that classless idiot. You know, when a man prays to Arobi Nagon, it goes very far. And that is what my father has done. Arobi Nagu is a deity that can go very far to settle anything for those who believe. And I trust that the prayers of my father for us. Just pour you on, baby. I'm scared. I'm scared of losing you. You won't lose me. You're not going to lose me. But I am here. I'll always be here. Huh? Come on. See how we started. No one gave us a chance, baby. But see how far we have come. We are here now, one day, huh? And the future is looking beautiful. You have gone from being a servant to being a beautiful princess. I need you, baby. Trust the process. For a lot lies ahead. Come here. Oh. Yes, son. Dad. I thought you were going with her. I know. I explained to her that I had this urgent meeting with the youth assembly of Oman, the executives, as a matter of fact, and she understands. Eh? It's okay, as long as she understands. But that, before I run off, you have seen Ijawele. What's your impression of her, Dad? So my impression is absolutely immaterial. Mm -hmm. You are the one going to be with her as husband. Mm -hmm. So my impression is what matters. <laughs> if you love her, then we are good to go. Dad. We shall talk more when I return. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today is one of those happy days of my life. I can actually say that today is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> the reason is very simple. Finally, <laughs> I am going to have that opportunity of giving out my precious daughter, Princess Ugonne, to that man that means the world to her. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, I am so glad that you are here. You know, marriage is a, is a family thing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So today is that day that um, I am going to take my daughter and give her out to the man, not just any man, but the very man that she has desired all her life, so that they can continue to live together as man and wife for the remaining days of their lives. <laughs> I believe you know why I called you. Today is a special day in this palace. The day that marks the first phase in the process of the marriage of the princess. I know your majesty and I'm fully prepared. I understand you're angry with the princess for punishing you yesterday. 
please, I want you to forgive her. I do not want any negative energy radiating towards her as she kneels before the king. Trust me, my queen, I'm not angry with the princess. I mean, I bear no grudge against her at all. I know our marriage is going to be a blessed one, my queen. Thank you. Beautiful and intelligent queen of Omo Maligo Kingdom. You are indeed a mother. Natalia. <laughs> you know, you are not going to live here today with your wife. We are here actually to start the very first phase in the processes that will lead to the marriage of the princess. We are here for the introduction. And that means you are here not just to inform me, the king, but to inform the ancestors of this family that you have found a daughter of Diaz, who you have decided to make your wife. And then you are going to promise them that you are going to love this daughter of Diaz for the remaining days of your life. <laughs> so what I expect you to do to actually start this process is to kneel before me with the one that you are going to marry and then you are going to promise that you will love her. You will remain with her. You will show her care that she deserves the most for all the remaining days of your life. Yes, uh, go ahead, uh, Nakamu. Mm -hmm. Do exactly what the king has asked you to do. Oh, yeah. Yes. Please. Okay, who are you? Yes, they will. I've been good at it. My king. My father. Nakamu. My queen. Before the throne, I promise I will take care of her. And I will love her in my very last breath. <laughs> my special one. Thank you again for today. You made today special. Huh? You welcome. know, this birthday is my best birthday celebration yet. Why do you say so? Because you spent the entire day with me. That's why. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I made your day. Yeah, I spent my day with the mother of my unborn children. The one who will spend the rest of her life with me. The one who makes my heart <laughs> skip a bit <laughs> when I see her. Such words of words. Thank you. Happy birthday, Nisabi. Thank you. Um, I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. Thank you. And I'm glad that I got to feed your entire community. Thank you. You know that giving is a part of me. <laughs> I know. One of the reasons I really do like you. <laughs> I'm humbled. I hope you love your birthday gift. That one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know you got me, right? Yes, I know. You got me, you. I got you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much you know that I don't know, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, you have to start going. It's getting late. I know. I'll see you again soon, right? I must tell you that I am still waiting for someone to break the ice and tell me the reason for this 
sudden visit. Just one day after we all celebrated my son's birthday. Onyezi. <laughs> that was not just a birthday. The prince touched the lives of many people who were on the verge of death. That was why we met online last night and decided to come here today. I am impressed, I must say. So, what do you have to say? My king, I personally consider you to be one of the blessed kings to have this wonderful son. It is not hidden to us all and the entire kingdom of Umunre that our prince is not just a philanthropist, but a man committed to the protection of our culture. So we met, as um, Ichie Ononeni Halelea said, and we decided that apart from being a, a crown prince, we should uh, award him with a word of excellence and then uh, bestow on him the title of uh, Onwa Umuri of Umuri. <laughs> um, my king, this decision is not one we took as just the men in council, but the executive members of our Omuri Women Assembly were consulted. And unanimously, they agreed that Prince Izuna, son to our revered king of Omori, yes. deserves the award. award of excellence. So, no, don't. My prince, please. Based on the power bestowed on me as the Ono Umuri, I hereby give you this title of Onwa Umuri and this award of, of excellence. Glory, <laughs> Onwa! Onwa! <laughs> My very esteemed elders, I, goodness, I'm happy. <laughs> Father, <laughs> ah, <laughs> listen, I'm short of words. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but to say thank you. Um, everything I have done for the people of Omo. I have done from my heart. Um, it gives me joy to be of service to the people, even in my capacity as the Crown Prince of Omori. For recognizing, for recognizing that service today, I shall continue to make you all proud. To the Omwa. Thank you very, very much. Uh, um, uh, my friends, you deserve even more than this. And uh, one more thing. It is the time you get the woman by your side. We, the Council of Chiefs, have heard the moves as directed by Chukwo Kikabiyama. Do not hesitate to call on us if you ever need our help. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much. In fact, you have said it all. <laughs> My prince, we wish we can celebrate you more than this. You are indeed a true son of the soil. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, Maldas. Thank you. Thank you. This obviously has lifted my spirits. Thank you very much. Um, it's refreshment time. Uh, <laughs> well thinking. You all will be highly entertained. Well thinking. For honoring me like this today, you shall be entertained. Thank you. Thank you. Father, I am sorry, but 
I don't know why you are looking at me like that. Okomado, I am waiting for you to give me a response regarding what we discussed. Why have you not said anything? What did we discuss? We discussed Ijawole becoming your wife. Why have you not said anything about that? The body is not in my court. It is completely in her court. And what do you mean by that? Father, I made my terms clear. Very clear to everyone. Until she agrees to that. Then I will know if she is qualified to be the next queen of this kingdom. You sound so irresponsible. Why will it be that a prince in your class will be discussing and talking like a fool? I, you know, were you serious with that rubbish you said? Of course. That you can only consider her being your wife after sleeping with her? I was serious. And I am still very serious. Father, I am a modern man. In a modern age. There is no way I will get married to a woman I have not experienced. What if after marriage is useless down there, then my, 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 my womanizing attitude and habits will be on the high side? I need someone that can pull me together as a man, as a king. You are a disgrace to royalty. Come on, you are a fool. And you are actually sick in the head. You are the king. You can say anything you feel to anyone. Thank you so much. But I stand with what I've said. It's either she grace my bed or nothing. Why in this world will I end up with a son as useless as this? It will gladden my heart if you end up in this family as my son's wife. I remember I mentioned this to you sometime in the past. I want, I want to see the possibility now and you are the one that will make it work. The queen has already told me, but there is a problem. I know the problem. My son has made a request. That is actually why I called you. I want to plead with you to find a way to oblige him that request of his. Listen, my dear, whatever thing that happens, it will still remain in this family. Please. Is this going to be too difficult for you to do for us? just begged me for something I can never do. Oh. I know it, it's, it's difficult, uh, but I, it is something that you can do. I, I want you to, I want you to think about it. I want you to make up your mind on your own. I, I, I am not going to force you into anything and nobody is going to pressurize you into doing it i want it to be your own decision that you are doing for this family my king my king i wish i wish i can do this prince ukomado has no respect for any woman the reason he made such a request i beg of you my king ask me of any other thing this, oh, this I can't do. I want to plead with you not to be rigid on that decision that you just took. I want you to sleep over this. Maybe tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, you may have changed your mind. I really want you to do this. Because I want you to end up in this family as a daughter-in-law. <sighs> Promise me that you will think about it.
and so disappointed in the king. Disappointed? How can he support this? How can I give my virginity to a fool who, who will never even know the value? Ah, oh, no, no. It will not happen. I will not give my virginity to a fool. I am actually ashamed of myself discussing that with her. I understand, my king, but please see it as something you don't think so. That useless son of yours who does not even know what he wants in a woman. You do know what, woman? I don't want to discuss this again. Please. Please. As Okati Igwe of Umu Meligwe cannot set the whole house on fire because of rats. It does not make sense. Yes. Okomado will be the husband of this decent girl who has kept her virginity until now. But that is not the target. The missing staff is. So please, let's not give up. Okay, let me just stop you. That some decent maiden who has managed to preserve her virginity until now, despite all odds, that maiden is now ready to marry or come marry yourself. But that useless son of yours, who can never get any decision right, when it comes to women, he's insisting that he must have to experience the woman in her before making her his wife. You know, sometimes when I go into my private room to commune with the ancestors of this land, I keep on asking them, why in this world, why will you allow such a useless human to be my son? Why? My king. You know he's not useless. He's very useless. No. Business-wise, he's a money-making machine. In my business that I set up. Fine. I know he has a problem when it comes to women. But please, let us tolerate him. Why? Because he took after you. No, oh, oh, come on. Don't, 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 don't give me that. I am not a womanizer. Oh, you were. But don't even try to defend yourself. Ukomadu took after you on that. What? Was it not where you went to visit one of your countless mistresses at Onono? That you lost the staff? The truth is that you've changed. And Ukomadu will equally change. I, I, do you know what everybody? When you are done with all these your unfounded acquisitions, you go and tell your chef that what I want to eat this night is okwa. Okwa with bitter leaf that is actually bitter. Not coli. Are you the one who asked them to call me? I am the messenger of the ancestors. Yes, I asked them to call you. Messenger of the ancestors. What has that got to do with me? Something is standing between you and the fulfillment of your destiny. I am here to guide you into your destiny. And your destiny is to marry the prince of Umuri. But the king has refused me marrying Prince Izuna. It's that he wants me for his son, Prince Ukomadu. And in all honesty, I can't stand Ukomadu. Besides, I see him like a brother. 
the king will be broken. He will allow you to marry the one you love when you tell him where to find the missing secret star. Missing secret star. I, I've never heard of that. He lost it at the deepest part of Amambala River. He has tried everything possible. He couldn't find it. The ancestors and the departed kings found it and placed it in the sacred box through which he communicates with the ancestors. Go to him, direct him to the staff, and he will make an instant statement. The great king of Umo Meligwe Kingdom, you will continue to dictate the peace for your enemies. I love to hear you pray for me. The innocent one who came into the picture and saved them from the brutality of the angry king. The one who transformed into the beauty of all ages. Have you come to say yes to my son? My king, I know where the missing staff is. Oh, goodness. Thanks to the gods of my ancestors. Where is it? I will tell you, but on one condition. What is the condition? Listen, as long as you show me where the missing staff is, whatever condition, you have it. <clears throat> um, my king, you will allow Prince Come, madam, remain a brother to me and marry me off to the Prince of Umumri. Settled. Listen to me. I will allow you to get married to the one you love as long as you show me where the missing staff is. Where is it? <sighs> My king. <sighs> okay, okay. The, the, the secret missing staff. It is in the ancient box, in your secret room, where you commune with the previous kings of Umu Meligwe. How is that possible? I still remember how I lost it. It was far in Amambala River, right in the center of that river. I was in a boat coming back from Onono, and I was preventing myself from falling when it slipped off my hand and fell into the deepest conclave of that river. And how are you telling me now it is in the second room? My king, the ancient kings found it and put it right back inside the ancient box. of me getting married to Princess Zena. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Congratulations, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> but what happened?
Ugoke Kabiyama, the god of my ancestors, the owner of everything we have. I pray, please, make it possible. Let it happen just like she said. Thank you for coming back to me. My beautiful wife. Your Majesty, what is going on? What is going on where? Is there a problem? Ijawole just told me that you have approved of her marriage to Prince Izuna. Yes. Is it not just today we discuss about the importance of having her marry our son because of the staff? Well, that discussion has already been overtaken because the staff has been seen. What? How? Listen, on the condition that I allow Prince Okoma, our son, to remain a brother to her, and I allow her get married to the Prince of Omumre, that was her condition that she will show me where the staff is. I gave into that condition. I allowed her to marry the one she loves. And she has shown me where the staff is, and I have found it. Oh! <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> this is good news. Yes. <laughs> ah, may you call the a big priest. Yes. If only, <sighs> if only our son did the right thing, he would have been the one marrying that lady. Because indeed, she is a special one from Chubo Kikabia. She is. <laughs> My husband, the most important thing here is that the secret staff has been found. Yes. So, how do we celebrate? We are going to celebrate elaborately. And you are going to be in charge of that celebration. So, I am asking you to define how it is going to happen. <laughs> Seho looks all bright and excited. What's going on? <laughs> Come on now, don't make me guess now. Eh? What is it? Just tell me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. The king has approved of us getting married. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? I am dead serious. <laughs> Goodness. Why did you just, why did you just tell me over the phone? I wanted to do that in person, just like I'm doing now. So that you can get me to get this real, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> thank you. I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for accepting me. I mean from day one. And I'm happy that you're mine now. My heart wanted you from day one. I can't believe I'm going to have you to myself for the rest of my life. Sweetheart. Now you're going to make me cry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, baby. Greetings, my big brother. Is this a kind of joke or what? Why are you calling me big brother? Are you not supposed to be my big brother? The king has approved of it. <laughs> why are you so uptight? You know what I want? You can give it to me and we will become man and wife. <laughs> Calling me big brother is delusional. For you know that we are not blood. <laughs> but by the verdict of the king, we are blood. The king swore on the staff of the kings that you are now my brother. So you see my dear big brother, stop lusting after me, for I am your sister now. <laughs> really? And you think I care about whatever nonsense he swears? 
As a prince, that it is an abomination for any man to lust, flirt with another man's wife. Another man's wife? Yes, another man's wife. She is another man's wife. She belongs to Princess Zuna of Umuri now. I have already made that declaration, and that declaration stands. Son, you look so excited. Thank you. What is the secret? I am excited. I will, I will tell you that. But before that, let me start by saying that the idea that you brought that we sacrifice a fat ram to Aru Obinago, a sacrifice for what we want, Daddy, that was a fantastic idea. <laughs> it has happened, Father. It has happened and I owe it all to you. What can I do without you, Father? A lot of things to be doing without me. <laughs> so tell me exactly what happened. Ah, okay. What was the effect of the sacrifice? His Royal Highness, Ezo Katiwe, has finally given his consent for me to marry Jawele. Bravo. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, I have always knew it. Apalata cannot choose a woman for you and then allow another man to marry that same woman. It's not possible. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you, because even if Jawele could not tell what happened, you know, she said that she was in a dream. And then she had a revelation. And then when she woke up, she acted upon what she had seen in her dream, and then the king was touched. And then he went ahead and gave her the consent to be with me. You know, even when she was talking, I, I did not need a soothsayer to tell me that that move was made by Aru Binago. Certainly. Oh, well, Murray. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm happy. That's it. Yes. And as a council, I called us for this meeting because I want us to discuss something very important concerning the future of this great kingdom. I know you all are wondering why I have not presented my successor, that is to say, the heir to the throne of Umu Meriwa Kingdom. Your Majesty, you are very correct, because as a matter of fact, it has been giving us a great concern. I know. Yes. Um, Onu, who here, will confirm to you that uh, we have all resolved not to disturb you on account of that. We know that when time is right, you will name your successor. Yes, we know. Uh, you know you have only one son, and we know him already. Yes, is she okay? okay? I agree with you that I have only one son, and you know him already. Mm -hmm. uh, but you will equally agree with me that uh, there must be an occasion where that son of mine, who is known by all, must be presented as the heir to the throne in an occasion where he is going to be exposed to the ritual of Isikalakane Bugiri. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, your Majesty, automatically what you are saying is that your son, Reso Komadu, is ready to be presented. Exactly. In that case, we are ready. We are. Mm -hmm. okay. So, <laughs> what will it be? Well, I am looking at the next Kemake day. Next day, came again. That's wonderful. Your Majesty, that's okay by us. Oh, your man. And our prayer is that may Chuku Kikia be my spare our lives to them. I continue to protect him. No. Oh yes. Okay, give me the money. Give me the money. What is it? Listen, Okomadu. You cannot do that which you have planned. I am now your sister. Shut up! You spare me that useless tale of 
feeling my sister. You stupid. You are not my sister. And if I can't have you, no one will. Now go! <laughs> It's nothing like losing any sanity here. This maiden that grew up under my nose is mine. It is inconceivable for anyone to suddenly baptize her with one useless declaration and tell me that she has become my sister. Mother, she is not my sister. And tonight, tonight, Mata Ife, Madoka see her tonight. Wait, 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 please. Tell me, is this not the same maiden you rejected? The same maiden you called names and banned from getting anywhere around your teams. Well, that was then. I know better now. I already vacated my original position. Mother, I am the prince in this palace. In this very palace, I am the prince and she is mine. Now listen. I will tell you this for the last time. Stop this madness before it consumes you. It will not consume me. I must have my way. Mother, I must have my way. After my father, I am the next authority, so I must have my way. Now that the king has given his consent, are you not going to come right away and take me with you? I am scared of this place. And so what happened? The prince here is angry that he's lost me. He's made it crystal clear that he wants to have me first. He wants to rape me. Are you scared? Shouldn't be. You're in a palace, darling. You are in a palace. And there is no way Prince or Comrade would be thinking of carrying out a very dirty act like that in the palace. Nah, relax, okay? He's just talking tough. And, and listen, Izuna, you don't have an idea the useless prince we are all against. Do you know he smuggles and women into the palace? I even heard he sleeps with call girls. Listen, you have to come right away before this imbecile defiles me. Okay, Jawele, I know that you might not understand this, but um, you're bigger than you think you are. Yes. The force is protecting you. Bigger than everyone you have in that palace. And those forces will not allow some imbecile to defy you. So why the delay? I thought now that we've gotten the approval of the king, you'll be here with your people. Uh, yes, um, my father and your king spoke and then he made it known to us that all is well. As soon as he's done with the ritual of presenting his son as a crown prince and next to the throne, uh, we can have our wedding ceremony. I understand. I, I totally do. But you just have to come and take me with you, please. You know, honesty, I pity the kingdom or comrade we rule. Because he's a bully. My love, let's talk about ourselves. Apart from you feeling harassed, uh, talk to me. What's happening with you? As for me, I miss you. How about you? Why is it that my interest doesn't matter anymore? Your son wants the same maiden that another prince wants. And you are ready. Hey, shut up. Shut up and start reasoning like somebody who is going to emerge. The custodian of the staff of the kings of this kingdom someday. You are a member of the royal family. You are royalty. And everything around your life revolves around the gods and the ancestors. Stop daring them by lusting after a woman I have already named your sister. Stop it. She can never be my sister. 
The woman that turns me on badly cannot be my sister. Why can't you understand that? Do you know what? I am not in the mood of dwelling on this nonsense with you. You can continue to make a fool of yourself, but I have come to warn you, oh comrade. That maiden is now your sister. If you continue to lust after her, then you are committing the abomination of lusting after a sister. I believe you know the consequences. I came here specifically to give you this information. Tomorrow, you are going to be exposed to the Ogidi of Umo Meligwa Kingdom, where you are going to be presented as the heir to the throne of this land. Stop thinking nonsense. Be in the right frame of mind for that sacred event. Okomado, do not make a fool of yourself. Why would they fix this for tomorrow? Huh? They have caged me. Now I cannot quietly rape this girl as I planned tonight. Oh. How can you kill me? Praise you, come on. We are excited for a day like this. Very, very excited. We are excited because this presentation is long overdue. Nevertheless, we are so happy. We are glad because it is taking place finally. <laughs> this is Ogidi, the ancient Ogidi of Umo Meligwe Kingdom. Ogidi of Meligwe. Oh, yeah. Ogidi. You are required to carry this Ogidi for four minutes. The four minutes that represent the four quarters of the earth. The four minutes that represent the four market days in Igbo land. After which the king, your father, will present you before the elders as the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne of Umu Meligwe kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the elders will submit to your authority. In advance. In advance. <laughs> your majesty, and the chief. I wonder if I could go name. Four minutes. King in this kingdom must lift this ogidi oh, yeah. and do exactly what Ono already described. You must carry this for four minutes. Four minutes that represents the four market days in Igbo land. And these four elders here must bear witness that they saw you carrying it for four minutes. I did it. And all the kings that ran before me did the same thing. Okay? You don't understand. It was as if the whole planet was resting on my head. <laughs> That's the way it is. Eh? You must feel the weight of Ogdi. Then before they, it becomes normal again. Exactly. 
Or were you thinking it's going to be an easy thing? Hmm. Didn't you hear when he shared her and he has said that easy kalaka ni poke? Easy kalaka bulo gudo gida ni ponyo nu. Didn't you hear that? In that case, I will. I will try again. Good. Hmm. Don't disappoint me this time. What? Yeah, Jerish. Please, you come, man. I don't want to be disappointed. Um, what? Hello. Yes, hmm. I think there is only one explanation to this. Richie, please, don't conclude yet. There must be another way. And that other way is for the king to expose you to the staff of the kings of Fumo Medigwe Kingdom. Exactly. Oh, yeah? Exactly. Oh, no. Prince, you come marry, you cannot be a weakling. Mm. Is she okay? Okay. 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 Any man in this kingdom of Fumo Meligwe that sees this staff, staff of the kings of this kingdom, must touch it. Mm. Mm. Failing which, it shows that the person is evil. And, and, and you just have to touch it before we continue. Yeah. Rachel, come marry, you are tasking our patience. Are you evil? Hey! <laughs> Did you guys do this? Is this what you've been touching? I don't get it. Oh, come on, what is going on? You cannot carry the ogili. And now you cannot touch the offer. What have you been doing? Father, I have not been doing anything. Just that you know, you know, that I've not always been comfortable with these ancient things. Maybe I, I can I can employ an art man, you know, pay him a million or two. He can design something benefiting for me to touch. Golden, please. Something modern. Please. Just, just no other modern way of doing this. Please. I can't touch this. I can't, I can't. Hey. Your Majesty, personally, I am as confused as every other person in this matter. The prince is a true son of the soil. So, what happened? Gave him a zero. Oh, no. Please. I asked us to sit back because I want us to define a way forward. And there is no way forward you are defining. Because with what happened, it is, it is a clear indication that our ancestors have rejected him. Exactly. And for him to even say to our faces that he's not comfortable with our Asian practices shows how insensitive he is. Yes. Oh, yes, Dr. Tony, no, Biko. I will plead with you to take it easy. 
Let us put ourselves in the young man's shoes. He's overwhelmed. Overwhelmed as a result of all the things happening in the palace. I am thinking that we have to invite the chief priest. And um, he has to speak to us on this. Your Majesty. There are no other ways. Is the chief priest going to change what we know? No, no, no. The chief priest is not coming to change what we know. But you will agree with me that he is the priest of this land. And he has a lot to say in issues such as this. Hmm. This meeting is adjourned. We are going to consult the chief priest. And I'm going to call us back again. If you say so, Your Majesty. I have been restless. Please, what did they say? Am I still going to be king after you? I still cannot explain what happened to you. Can you explain to me? Father, I can't explain that either. But I know there was a plan to kill me. I don't know who I have offended. To the best of my knowledge, slaves are the only ones who cannot touch that of all. Are you not aware? But you yourself know I am not a slave. Father, there is a conspiracy to kill me. I know. Okay, what about your giddy? From what I know, it is only murderers or people who are covering murder and all that hideous crimes, abominable crimes, that the Ogidi will always humiliate. So why are you so humiliated today, Okomado? Why? Come on, Father. Come on. I know I can be every other thing bad, but certainly not a murderer. Father, there is a conspiracy against me, and I am shocked why you are not even talking about that. Listen. No matter how you try, there is no way you will ever convince me to buy into this your conspiracy theory nonsense. Are you insane? Can't you see you are being tempted? Ask yourself questions. Why were you unable to confirm your position as the next king? That should be your concern, not a girl. You're right. Your God, a voice in my head just saved you. Everybody, this has got nothing to do with this or Kati. I am telling you what happened right before the elders in council. The ancestors have rejected our son. Why would the ancestors reject our son? I don't know. And I am not in a position to ask them why they did what they did. Is there no solution? There could be. I have already called the SMO and he said he will not speak yet. That he will speak when the time comes. And you know, 
He is the one saddled with the responsibility of speaking in issues such as this. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I would suggest you go to him, discuss this with him face to face. Uh, 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 don't, don't just bother yourself, okay? I called somebody. Somebody who is going to be here today or unfailingly tomorrow. When that person comes, he will be able to explain to me exactly what is going on. He can explain it. Trust me on that. So don't just bother yourself. Go back to your chambers. The king already called me. I dismissed him because I wanted you to be the one that would tell him what I said. The gods and ancestors of Umumiliwe kingdom have rejected his son, Okomado, and he cannot be the king of this kingdom. Mm. Oh. There is a more, like you said earlier, you wanted us to be the ones uh, that will relay the message to the king. Yes. Yes, we will. I will personally make sure we will do that. But why are you saying that the ancestors and the gods have already rejected Ukomade? He is the son of the king. And, 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 and nothing, Onowu. There is never a rule that says the son of a king must be a king after his father. Onowu, from what I am saying, From what I am saying, a woman will emerge as king. Mm -hmm. A king must emerge, even from any family. You are confusing us. Why will the gods and the ancestors reject the priest? A person who discriminates. A person who has no human sympathy. A person who continues to violate the rules of the gods even after he was asked to stop. A person who has continued to commit the abomination of incense can never ascend the throne of Umomiliwe kingdom. That prince has done all that. And that disqualified him completely. Hey. That is the information for the king. Uh, as a mo. If I need to learn from the chain, you did change if I need to learn more. Woman is a woman. What about the future of our kingdom? Who ascends the throne? The ancient throne of Umo Meligwe kingdom, who ascends the throne as a Mu? Uh, because uh, from, from what you are saying, uh, it seems as if a woman, uh, you said a woman could emerge and all that and all that. Which is not possible. Because a woman cannot ascend the throne. A woman cannot become the king of our kingdom. Who are you to say? Things are changing even right before our eyes. Everything is changing in the spiritual. Oh no, a woman will ascend the throne when the time comes. But for the meantime, let us wait for Kataiwe to complete his reign. Then the gods speak. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. We fetch her. Your Majesty. My son was of the opinion that there is a conspiracy against him. I dismissed him. I never listened to him because to me, he was not making sense. 
But now that uh, even the SMO has refused to speak to me on what is going on, I am beginning to read in between lines. I am beginning to see some sense in what my son has been saying. It is beginning to appear to me as if, indeed, there is a conspiracy truly. I called you here because I want to know exactly what is going on. Without missing what Onye is I confirm to you that there is no conspiracy. The elders already accepted your son. They were already prepared to submit to his authority. But the gods and ancestors rejected him. They rejected him in Ogidi and even rejected him in the offer. And that is why I called you. I want to understand what is going on. Good to the best of my knowledge, slaves are the only people who are not permitted to touch the offer. And then again, murderers and other people who are the perpetrators of other heinous crimes. They are the ones that the Ogide can humiliate or even kill. Why must such a fate befall my son? Or are you confirming to me here now on your honor that Okomado is not actually my son? He is your son. So what happened? Is that something he did? Did he kill anybody? Or is there a crime he committed that he is hiding from all of us? What exactly is going on? Your Majesty, Ezemo did not want to speak to you. Rather, he chose to speak to the elders. Yeah, I got it. Ezemo did not speak to me and he's speaking to the elders? Are you serious? Your Majesty, I will repeat what Ezemo told the elders. I quote, a person who discriminates. A person who has no human sympathy. A person who continues to violate the rules of the gods even after he has been asked to stop. A person who commits incest abomination cannot ascend the throne of Umu Omeligwe. The prince has done all and therefore he is completely disqualified. That is the news for the king. End of quote. Your son must blame only one person for all this. Himself. He must blame himself for he brought all this upon himself. Everything is crashing down on me. Hey, the world is too big, but nowhere to hide. It's right. I brought this upon myself. Why didn't I listen when it mattered more? I will no longer be king after my father. Where am I going to hide? This my foolishness has cost me a love. This my foolishness has cost me a love. I wish I can just turn back the hands of time and start to grow again. If I can turn back the hands of time, I'll start to grow again. Oh. I hate everything. Gundaya, I have lost everything. I have everything. I am sorry. You have your life. This is the most important thing. You're not even doing badly in business. Brother. Maybe this whole royal thing is not even meant for you in the first place. Don't you think so? 
wipe your tears. Mm. I wish I listened. I wish I listened. Oh, yes, what I want you to do is to plan and come with your son. It is not going to be an elaborate marriage ceremony. Just come with your son, and I will give her out in marriage. She is my daughter, and I love her very much. Under normal circumstances, I would have loved to organize an elaborate marriage ceremony to give her out. But considering what has happened in the palace, oh, the ancestors of my land rejected my son. He is not going to reign in Umumilibu after me. Royalty is going to depart from my family when I join my ancestors. That is what I face now. And um, that is bigger than parties, if you understand what I mean. So you plan with your son. Tell me when you are coming, whether you are coming tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Anytime, just let me know. And uh, we will be delighted to give her out. Thank you. Be courageous, my king. This is not the end of the world. Father, please forgive me. I am very sorry. I know the gravity of the crime I've committed against this family. This car is going to be in our hearts forever. I am so sorry. Only the gods know why this has befallen me. I am ready to pick up the pieces of my life and move on. I am so sorry. Mom. I'm sorry. Members of Umunri Council here represented. I want to thank you for a day like this. Today, you have ignited a light in our kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that light that you have ignited will surely bring us peace and prosperity to yeah. both lands. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. well, well, my dear princess, take this wine. Go around and show us the very man you have willingly really decided to spend the rest of your life. We gathered here will be your witnesses. Likewise, our ancestors, known and unknown, they will equally be your witnesses. Go around and show us. Finally, we have come to the end of this wonderful process 
a process initiated by the gods of two different kingdoms. I name you his wife, and so shall you remain. It shall be well with you on a Kemake day. It shall be well with you on a market day. It shall be well with you on a for market day. And it shall be well with you on a for market day. Gods of our land, bless you with male and female children. She is favored by the gods.